Azerbaijan's First Lady, President of the Idrali Foundation Mehrban Aliva, Foundation's Vice President Leila Aliva and Arza Aliva attended the ceremony. Addressing the opening ceremony, Leila Aliva said this exhibition was the right method in terms of emphasizing the beauty of all threatened animal species, their significance and importance of their protection. Mentioning her trip to Australia to participate in the Assembly of the World Parks Congress, Leila Aliva underscored the importance of the future generations protecting the nature and talked about the works done in Azerbaijan Azerbaijan to this end. In Azerbaijan, we enlighten the youth on protection of the environment. Leila Aliva said that they raise awareness among youth in the direction of protection of the environment. Adding that Azerbaijan is a country with a rich history and ancient traditions, Leila Aliva said that Azerbaijan possesses wisdom of East and progress of West. In the course of history, Azerbaijan was an important center on the Silk Way, and this evolved the country into the country of tolerance, dialogue, and new ideas, and impacted our culture, she said. Positioned in the unique geographic place between Europe, Asia and Middle East, the country is housing many interesting landscapes. Azerbaijan is a country of snow, mountains, lakes, rivers, deep forests, lowlands and wide meadows, added Leila Aliva. She noted that, as a matter of fact, nine out of all existing climatic zones are present in Azerbaijan, along with rich biodiversity. She stressed that, in spite of that, they established IDEA, International Dialogue for Environmental Action, three years ago. She added that, despite the long path lying ahead, they already implemented numerous projects and achieved positive results. Some of the projects include the planting of 3 million trees, representing 3 million young living in Azerbaijan, releasing wild gazelle into the wild, raising awareness among more than 8,000 children. Besides, we have identified our own big five. Those are brown bear, grey wolf, imperial eagle, gazelle and Caucasian leopard. Leila Aliva mentioned the Caucasian Biodiversity Summit held in Azerbaijan and our country is being a member of the International Union for Conversation of Nature. She informed that in order to rescue the Caucasian leopard from the peril of extinction and ensure its return to Europe, works are being carried out with the World Wildlife Protection Fund, the Panther Organization and other organizations working in this sphere. Leila Aliva thanked those contributing to the organization of the exhibition and once more underscored the significance of protecting the environment. Emphasizing the high-level organization of the event devoted the 50th anniversary of IUCN Red List, Chief Director of the organization Julian Marton brought to the attention that today's event was of significance for him, saying that participation of Azerbaijan's First Lady Mehrban Aliva and Leila Aliva, head of IDEA Public Association, which is well known for its interesting projects in the world, made the exhibition more interesting. The Chief Director said he was informed of IDEA projects and these projects have made its contribution to ecological enlightenment works in the world. At Lovers of London joining the exhibition, which took place with the organizational support of the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Baku magazine, were presented works representing various directions of modern art. Along with modern art representatives from different countries, Azerbaijani artists are also represented here. Leila Aliva, Aida Mahmudova, Farid Rasulov, Rashad Alakbarov have joined the exhibition with interesting works. Moreover, works reflecting threatened flora and fauna species by George Kondo, Tracy Emin, Andy Warhol, Gavin Turk, Peter Blake, Douglas Garden, Stephanie Whale, and other well-known representatives of modern art are displayed at the exhibition. The objective of holding such exhibitions is to enlighten people on the significance of the ecosystem and its protection and strengthen social responsibility in this direction. Being the biggest and oldest organization dealing with protection of the environment, the International Union for Conversation of Nature includes 1,200 government and non-government organizations from 160 countries. The Red List of International Union for for conversation of nature is considered to be the most detailed collection of information on global protection of wildlife and threatened species. The exhibition will continue until December 17th.